Hi there guys, welcome back. And uh, Halloween weekend, yes. <laughs> well, this video might be going up a bit later on YouTube. Well, we got the beta version of uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon World. I already had a go with this once. Uh, there's not really that much to to look at at the moment. It's uh, it's an early beta game, and uh, unlike many other beta games, this is actually really a beta game or beta. There's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of problems, and it's only partial working uh, meaning this is not electronics arts uh, commercial promotion of a game and they just call it a beta vegan this is actually a test <laughs> and uh, it's a wonderful test as you can see to the top right well we we're having a long loading time up here top right it says Beta Weekend 1. Beta Weekend 1, well, that seems promising, meaning hopefully we'll get a weekend number 2, 3, 4, maybe more. Well, they've said so far that get the game should be released on the 10th of uh, December, so they got a lot of work to do, especially because that's. Well, today it's late in October, so they only got it November and 10 days, so that's pretty. Oh. And another thing about the 10th of December, that's my birthday. <laughs> Very nice. Well, check this out. This game looks great. Reminds you of uh, old uh, Tycoon games. The controls are okay. Uh, VASD, middle mouse, click to rotate. Scroll to zoom. Looks good. And yeah, this is a made with Unity game. It's another Unity game. How about that? <laughs> Gotta love that engine. That little engine, that could. We got a lot of stuff, but there's nothing new uh, and there's no options really. So what, what can we do in this uh, beta? Well, we can build uh, paths. As you can see, we can build a path with different uh, patterns. So, let's say we wanted this. We can make them small like that. Uh, medium. And uh, large. So let's just make a large pad. There we go. And just like in uh, the in cities skylines, you can uh, do this rounded uh, corners, that's very nice. <laughs> very nice. You got a uh, cube stands or lines if you want, so you can add these to your rights. I'm not sure if you really need them because uh, the test I did f before, uh, my ride never really passed <laughs> the test. It just failed over and over. And uh, we got some uh, base, basic decorations. You can see we got some uh, light posts we can place. They snap to the edges. That's nice. We got some flags. Uh, some benches. Yes. Some trash cans. What is this? A wooden trash can. Sure. We got some fences. That's that's really strange with the fence because I, when placing fences, I would expect placing them like the road. So I click and then I click somewhere else and it would just line them up. But no, you have to really do something like this. And as you can see, you really have to be t uh, uh, the, uh, uh, oh. Yeah, that's annoying. Annoying feature, feature defenses. Really would like to just select, click here, click here, and it will make a line, and maybe select an arch and make an arch or something like that. And then, if really needed, then use the freehand tool. This is just silly. 
You, you can see over here you need to shift and scroll to, to rotate your fences. Yeah, it doesn't work so well when your your mouse does scroll is shit. Yeah, never buy. A, let's see what's this called. Mad cats. I got a mad cat's mouse and it's just terrible. Anyway, some decorations as well. Very nice. Different styles. Got a temple. <laughs> And uh, I really like the snapping feel thing. Also, you can place it anywhere, but you can still snap it if you wanted to. That's cool. Oh, we got a day and night cycle, it seems. Uh, there's no light in these. That's a bit weird. You can see there's no glow on the parking lot. You can see there's glow underneath each lamp. There's no glow here, there's no light, they are not emitting anything, they're just there. And the same with this one, it's just blue, it's not... Well, there is some sort of blur effect, but it's, it's just weird to look at. We also have plants. Different plants, not that many, but it's nice. Some flowers. Uh, some trees. Very nice. Seems uh, reasonable. Yep. And uh, water fountains. We have two water fountains. There we go. So that's basically what we got right now. Uh, besides the the roller coasters. So. The main thing in this game is, of course, the roller coasters. So let's, well, of course, you can do some terrain deformation. Uh, let's uh, let's just take a look at that. You click lower, raise, smooth, flatten. So I like the way it just slowly uh, rubs down, and of course, you can uh, adjust the strength down here. And then you have this water tool, and you you fill in water. So as if you're pouring it in. It's kind of weird. <laughs> there we go. A small lake. Oh, paint, sand. Yes, let's let me paint some sand. There we go. Different types of grass, doesn't really matter. Nice, nice. Okay, the main thing. We gotta move and uh, the bulldozer as well. Coaster builder. So we have different coasters. There's one that's not available. It's called Blueprints. I think it's meant for uh, saving and sharing uh, coaster designs, but I'm not sure. Maybe you can buy finished uh, coasters and plop them in your park. But we got different types of coaster. We got a hyper coaster. It's a classical coaster with iron structure. We got a wooden coaster, stand up coaster, dive coaster, flawless coaster, I'm not sure. Flying coaster, inverted, accelerator, wing, and of course the blue. So why don't we start out with a classic wooden coaster? Let's keep it really, really, really simple. So you, you choose one of these. And then you click Create Custom. And left shift and mouse scroll to rotate it. And you can press 2 and then you can adjust the height. So let's just uh, place that one right there. There we go. And it automatically starts you with your railing. So there we go. That's our loading area if you want. So let's. Down here you have to select normal track, chain lift, friction brake, and block brake. And of course some of the coasters have something like a booster track as well. Well, we want chain lift at first, and we just want it to uh, move upwards. So I'm left clicking, you can see we now have four options down to the right. Left shift and scroll up. 
and you can see it says too steep. <laughs> oh yeah, that seems like a interesting way to get up. <laughs> well, it's a really uh, nice change this design. Okay, let's see, 25 meters. We just want the basic functionality of coaster and make it work, All right? So once you clicked, it stays like that. Then I select normal track and I click anywhere, and it automatically continues. Left slip, left shift, I meant to say, and scroll one down. There we go, 23 meters. And you can see it changes colors depending if uh, it should be uh, valid or not. And let's do something like that. 21 meters. So we got a slow uh, descent on a uh, rather large uh, circle. This should be uh, not too uh, crazy. There we go. And let's keep it simple and make it a uh, drop down in this direction. Then we can always play around with crazy uh, coasters later. There we go. And then we need a braking path. That's very important that you add this track separately because you can't just make this part break. But just a small one and let's select the friction brake. There we go. And we want a normal track and we want to turn. And a normal track again. There we go. So, very simple coaster, you would think. Yeah. And then we can click the train. We can select how many cars we want. Right now we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. Eight, nine, ten, eleven if we wanted to. To remove them, you just delete. Click one, hit delete on your keyboard. So now our card is uh, four tracks and we can have different uh, different uh, cards along the way if we wanted to and change the colors, colors in general as well. So in order to make uh, this thing work, we of course need to test it. So let's hit test and the thing is running. Uh, of at the moment I have all sound turned off, I forgot to mention that. That's just because the music in-game is so loud, it's really loud. And there's no options to turn it off. So, right now you should be hearing this nice chain sound. Tuk, 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 tuk. And there we go. It's released from its chain. And it's just coasting. <laughs> nice and easy. And these brakes might be uh, too strong. <laughs> yep. So let's select them and uh, reduce the brake force to the absolute minimum. Hit test again, test, and uh, let's speed up time. You see the train is coming up. Nice and easy. There we go. And it worked. Uh, and it crashed on the straight bit right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see now we got speed on them. So we got 38, 37 miles per hour, whatever that is. Uh, I live in the part of the world where we use the standard measurement system, and that's certainly not miles per hour, but hey, okay. So let's click the brake and uh, double up the braking power to. Okay, you can select two. 
<laughs> okay, 1.9 then. So, test, test, full speed. And that's one of the really strange things about this game yet. Sometimes your roller coaster seems to crash for no. It was working fine before. Now he he's crashing up there for for whatever reason. Um, I have no idea. Maybe it's because the game speed is too high. Yeah. So apparently the game speed is uh, directly influencing whether or not your train will uh, will crash. So, oh, and now he crashed right there because the cast disassembled it on the way down. Mm. Oh my! Oh my! How strange! How strange! Let's just open it. <laughs> okay, so people need to be able to get over to it so they can do that right there. And any survivors would like to maybe exit it, they can do that from uh, here. So that's. Yeah, that's a bit of shame. You get these uh, off angles, and it's not, uh, and it's snapping to this uh, point or this point instead of uh, allowing you to go straight. So uh, I'm a bit worried about uh, this snapping feature because I really doubt they have any way to disable it at the moment. But so far. It looks like a fun game, <laughs> and uh, there is passengers, as you can see, they are coming right there. You can't click them, but they're ghosts, and uh, well, they're just placeholders until they get real, uh, <laughs> real people in, in the game. Yeah, right. Until they get. Uh, I think they are planning to have individuals simulated, so they have this guy has an amount of cash he's going to spend either on the coast or in some sort of uh, hot dog stand or at the entrance, depending on how you set up your park, and uh, that's a, that allows you to do, do a much more advanced business simulation if you want, rather than just randomizing everything. So, even though we are failing our, our coaster, people are queuing up. That's good. So, get in there. It's over here. Where are they going? Oh, they just all enter in the back. Maybe that's to make it look like there's a queue all the way when there's a lot of people. So it, it takes... It doesn't leave even though <laughs> it's been more than two days. So this train leaves every three days from station. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. This is uh, when you click uh, the coast that you can see it's a uh, rating. <laughs> Excitement minus 1.21 ultra extreme. That must be a bug. Minus should not be uh, <laughs> like that. Okay, anyway. And uh, you can watch uh, the park on the coaster ride. Okay, that's strain. Really strange, now it's working. Well, how about that? <laughs> and there's some paint and tools, and I'm sure you can right here see, eventually you're going to be able to see how uh, people are uh, thinking of your train, what their thoughts are. Operating mode, number of trains, well, 
Why not uh, just put it to... Oh, I can't put it to two yet. Okay. But as you can see, it looks like we're going to get a lot of very cool uh, settings for each, uh, <laughs> each ride. And uh, we have a minimum wait time, maximum wait time, capacity, circuits. Oh, that's very cool because in real life sometimes you get two rounds on a, on a ride. Cars per train, chain speed. Oh, very good, very good. I, I'm very happy to see that because check that out over there. I'd really like to get it up there really fast. I have very high hopes for this game and I, I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, this is a huge step. Uh, at least for a tie. That other theme park thing they had going where you were playing first person and you weren't really able to build anything on your own. Uh, I was kind of sad when I saw that. And uh, I've been really missing a good a successor for Railroad Tycoon. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> and uh, this looks like it could be it. It's it's certainly a good start. Uh, I'm not sure why this one keeps opening. But then again, it's a beta, so that's a lot of bugs. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And I'll sure enough be keeping up to date with this game. Unfortunately, I think we're only able to play this weekend uh, during the Halloween. But uh, I'm not sure when the next beta weekend will be available, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.